Hey, hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a super easy trick in Lightroom to add some drama to your photos. My name is Stan, AKA Sightseeing Stan, and I'm a photographer primarily focusing on travel and landscape photography. And this channel is all about travel and photography. So if that's something that you're interested in, I invite you to subscribe and follow the adventure. Okay, so I've selected a few photos, so let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you this super easy trick to add some drama. Let's start with this photo here. And I've already done a basic edit on the photo, but as you can tell, the sky is looking a bit boring. It's very blown out and yeah, it's missing something. It's missing a little bit of drama. So let's add a graduated filter and you can do that by selecting this rectangular box right here and let's pull the filter over the top of the image. And when you hold shift, you can make sure that the graduated filter stays level. And when you press O, you can see what part of the image is selected by the filter. So let's start by dropping the exposure a little bit. And let's also drop the highlights a little bit and drop the whites. And now this next step is where the magic is really gonna happen. So let's up the dehaze a little bit and add some contrast. And there you have it. We've transformed this photo and added so much more drama in the sky. So let's have a look what the photo was like without the filter that we've added. And you can tell with just adding this simple graduated filter, we've created so much more drama in this shot. So now let's see if this will also work for a photo that has a bit more color. Again, I'm selecting the graduated filter, pulling it over the sky, and then dropping the exposure a bit, dropping the highlights a bit, and dropping the whites a bit. And then the magic trick using the dehaze slider, just increasing the dehaze a little bit, and increasing the contrast a bit. Now I wanna tilt this filter a little bit because there is a lot more brightness on this side of the photo in comparison to this side. And I'm just gonna stretch it out a bit, which will make the transition go a little bit easier. Now let's have a look without the filter and with the filter. Again, this trick has done magic and it's made this photo way more dramatic. All right, but let's try this photo right here. So again, the same step, I'm selecting a graduated filter, pulling it over the sky, over the top of the photo, dropping the exposure, dropping the highlights, dropping the whites, adding some dehaze, and also adding some contrast. Now you can tell as I am doing this that it's also affecting the mountain and it's affecting the trees here. And we don't really want that, we only want it to affect the sky. So how can we fix that? We can use what's called a range mask. And you find that down here, and then select luminance. So now we can choose which part of the image is being affected depending on the luminance of that part. So by simply sliding this slider across, you can tell that the darker areas are being less affected by the filter. And we can also do the opposite, slide it the other way, and this will only affect the darker areas of our filter. But we want only the sky to be affected, so let's slide it over to the right, and you can tell only the sky is being affected and not so much the mountains and the trees. Now you can also add and subtract from your mask using the brush tool. So you can find the brush tool right here, and then if we press O, we can see what part of the image the filter is affecting. Right now there is a plus sign, so that means that we're adding to the filter. So if I paint over the image, you can tell that there are things being added to the filter. Now if you hold down Alt, you can see that a minus appears, and now we are subtracting from the filter. So if I paint over the filter, you can see stuff disappearing. So this way we can actually paint away the things that we don't want to have affected by the filter. We can paint over the mountain and make sure that the filter is only affecting the sky. 
Okay, so let's try it on one more image and I'll show you how you can use this easy trick to also add some more color to your sky. So as you can see, this sky is again very overexposed and there isn't really much color in there either. So again, I'm selecting the graduated filter, pulling it over the top of the photo. I will drop the exposure, drop the highlights a bit and drop the whites a bit. Again, I'll add some dehaze and add some contrast. But you can tell we're still missing a little bit of color here. So if I go to the temperature sliders here, I can add a bit of warmth and add a bit of magenta tint in there as well. And this way we can bring back color in the sky, making it look a lot more dramatic. So let's have a look what this photo was like without our filter. So it's obvious that also in this photo, by adding a bit more color, by decreasing the exposure, we're making this image a lot more dramatic and a lot more interesting. All right, so that is how you add drama to your photos. Really simple, by just adding a graduated filter and adjusting a few of the settings. I really hope you enjoyed this little tip and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write me in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.